Hey, what's up guys? Coach Austin here with Physique Development. I'm here with Coach Sue, and today I'm gonna to take you through her squat and how we can make that more balanced. So Sue naturally has a very hip dominant squat, which can be great for building the posterior chain and the glutes, but sometimes you just want your squat to involve a little bit more quad. So that being the case, we're gonna take her through a squat. Her squat, basically to show you how that looks without the wedges first, and show you kind of what that hip dominant squat means, and then we're gonna take her back on the wedges. So I'm gonna have Sue kind of go into her squat. So if she stops here at the bottom for me, you're gonna see that she has no hip flexion left, but she has a quite a bit of knee flexion left. So what we can do to help that, again, that's gonna place a lot of load back here on her hips. So if she comes up for me, takes a step back onto the wedges, what this is going to do is going to allow her to drive that knee a little bit further forward than she could on the ground, which is going to help place more load, more emphasis on the quads. So I'm gonna have her go into that. And as she reaches hip flexion, as she reaches depth, you can see the gap that was once here is now gone. So what that's done, this is still a hip, more hip dominant than anything, but it has transferred a lot more tension to the quads as far as the mechanics go of the squat. Thanks so much for watching. If you guys are interested in coaching, reading an article, or watching another video, check us out, physiquedevelopment.com.